MKO Abiola's daughter pays a visit to Tinubu's running mate Shetima reveals why. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we we'll post hot juicy news update, please click on the notification bell. Amid the forthcoming 2023 election, our the three top presidential candidates having announced their vice president. The all progressive Congress candidate choice of going with an all Muslim Muslim ticket stirred controversy as some expressed concern why some respected Bola Ahmed Tinubu's choice. With respect to that, one of those who defended Tinubu Abbas's choice of running mate was late MK Abiola's daughter, Rinsal Abiola, who said Tinubu is qualified to lead Nigeria by every standard. And in showing that, Rinsola Abiola, who is also an all-progressive member, paid a visit to Tenubu's running mate, Senator Kashim Sheitima, to congratulate him on the margins as the vice president. Rinsola Abiola's post goes thus. Paid a visit to Senator Kashim Sheitima earlier to congratulate him on his emergence as our vice president, vice presidential nominee. I stress the importance of tackling issues of national concern and nudged him to sustain his tradition of supporting and mentoring young people. Revealing why Rinsola Abiola mentioned, she stressed the importance of tackling issues of national concern and nudged him to sustain his tradition of supporting and mentoring young people. So, is that the reason why... <laughs> Hey, these headlines. Anyway, I want to believe this is not all she said. Well, let me say this. Uh, everybody is um, entitled to their choice. This is what I will keep saying. This is not a time where we are going to see each other because we are picking different candidates as enemies. I've said it before. No particular region, no religion can save Nigeria or can make Nigeria better. It cannot happen through one. It, could, it is called a work. That is why I'm saying that if we really, really know the problem, that means we should have a clue to the solution. Do you know our problem in this country? Our problem, let's leave the good, bad governance first of all, is the fact that we are not united. Do you know that if we are united and we come and tell ourselves the truth, that we should keep our differences? We don't need to like each other. I'm telling you, we don't need to like each other. We don't even need to be friends. All we need to do is to have a common goal which is to make sure we pick um, competent persons, irrespective of religion or region. Now, I'm saying this is no matter our religion, no matter, we should make sure that we pick the competent person, irrespective of religion or region, with equity in mind, with fairness in mind, with justice, because now these three things where they miss, now they cause problems. If you look at the disagitation of the South is now by these IPUB people, this uh, indi indigenous people of Biafra, what is it to say cause the agitation? You think it's saying a uh, religious no? Is it tribe? No. It is actually the lack of equity, fairness, and justice. And it is lack of unity. I they tell you, it is lack of unity. We don't need to like ourselves, I've said it. We don't even need to be friends. All we need to do is to have a common goal. We know our problem. Our problem is what? We don't have good, good leaders. We don't have good IB. And also, we are not, what is now our problem? What is also our problem? Disunity. We are not united. We keep picking leaders based on nepotism, favoritism, without putting merit in mind, without putting competence and credibility in mind or capability, without putting equity, fairness, and justice in mind. We pick leaders that are biased. Now, the solution to this problem is for us to have a common goal. Everybody come outside and do what? Make sure you pick leaders who are going to make this country better. Not just one person. Not just one person. If Nigeria is better, I've told us. If our economy gets better, do you know what is happening? If this insecurity troubling the land stops, do, you know, do you know what is going to happen? If this insecurity stops, first of all, everybody go, go balance well. Everybody go sit down well. It is when we come together huh, and pick a leader devoid of nepotism. It is my person, it's my brother, is a member of my religion, a member of my party. Pick somebody who is capable, 
who is capable, who is who has shown that he has a roadmap or blueprint of making Nigeria better. We pick the person, unite and pick that person together. Because I want to believe all of us know better thing when we serve. So that is when we are going to have a country that is going to start improving. That is just the truth. Now, that does not mean that we are not united now. Does not mean because we support different people, we should not become enemies to each other. Because if you, the more we do that, the more problems we have. The earlier we understand this, the better for all of us. It's very funny. Just listen to this. This one, the daughter of Abiola is acting this foolishly, moving from one politician house to another. He said that they have squandered the massive wealth their father made when he was alive. If nobody should ask me, I don't know what to say. If not ask me, who are we going to ask now? And let us not forget that this lady, apart from all those things, make not forget say this lady is an APC member. You know these people, they are loyal to their party to a fault. Even when they see, say their party don't, don't fuck up woefully, don't mess up, they not do. Even when they know that, oh, this is our party, they not try, they will still support that party. They are loyal to their party to a fault. So this is just that. These people are loyal to their party to the core. So, sincerely, I don't see one of the reasons why she did support them. Yes, even if she was a PDP member or, or a Labour Party member, it would have been the Labour Party candidate that she's going to have been standing up for. So that is one thing we should take into consideration. That is why I keep saying we should stop attacking people. Hmm? We should stop attacking people. Now, so I would say that this is what every party member would do. But come 2023, party, party loyalty is far less. The people's will is bigger than party loyalty. Not everybody belongs to a political party, whether you like them or not. People who do not belong to any political party and who are grieved at how the situation of Nigeria have deteriorated to. My dear, we have had days that we have called good days. But somebody came and told us that our good days, they are bad days. That they are going to make our days better. And now we are in the worst of days. So Nigerians, come 2023, we should ensure that we make the right decision. Because that decision, Naingu Deo, Naingu determine our next, next, uh, um, our next eight years. It will determine the quality of life we are going to be living for the next eight, uh, next eight years. Let us make sure we'll make the right decision and vote wisely. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. And until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.